Jamie Newman. Now, Newman also had a very rough day last weekend against Clemson. Many can say that, of course, but just six for 14, 41 yards. Yeah, it was a horrible performance by the entire group, obviously overmatched by Clemson. You know, outside of that game, he's been outstanding. And so good opportunity to see how he responds after a tough outing. That unusual offense that they run as well. He's going to keep that, stay on his feet. Finally taken down Buffer. Yeah, and you said it. It's a little bit unique. They're, this is basically, you know, quarterback power with an extra blocker. Credit to the creativity of what these guys are doing. And we're trying to dance on that left side. Forest is the second least penalized team in the nation. Only 38 times over their last 10 games. And bouncing outside, the quarterback will get that first down. Jamie Newman. The offense, you look at what happens here, is the, the defense thinks that Kate Carney has the football. I mean, basically what happens is Hayward's confused, doesn't realize that Jamie... The football, every play has been a run. This one will be two, looking to scoot inside, but he is bottled up by McSwain. Jamie Newman playing wet conditions and doesn't seem like it affects him. Big, strong hands and, and good throw of the football in all conditions. Third down, seven. Uh, the first Demon Deacon drive of the night. Newman to keep it again, but he is tripped up right there at the 30-yard line. Stopped by 7 for Newman. Let's see if he puts it in the air here. Looking to do that. Looking toward that sideline. He fires that one off of Hinton's hands. And incomplete 7. In the driving rain. Newman. Oh, down he goes. He took a nasty hit and took him down. Yeah, Dimakagey's coming off the edge here, and he just wins right away. And, you know, Jamie Newman, because he's looking to his left, doesn't feel it, and he's fortunate that he didn't lose the football. And so it's a credit to the program, especially the way some of them started. Newman looking for the middle. No seam there as he is bottled up. In front of a very small but hearty gathering. Newman looks to throw on the pump, drills that one, and that's complete. Catch by Hinton. He'll pick up the first down. Good job of, of Jamie Newman here. Benziger's right tackle is going to get beat inside. Look at the little reset, and then just able to, to get the ball out. Kate Carney back in there at the running back. Very punishing, but Newman will keep. And he is met by Gannon, who will take him down. Put it home. No one to throw. Looking over the center. Short pass, and that one's complete. Wake Forrest just punched in the face. And Newman right up the middle. Looking to throw. And now has to move out of the pocket on his feet, trying to dance outside. They get to him. Second turnover tonight for the Blue Devils. Put it on the ground two times in these wet conditions. And down goes the quarterback, Newman. Yeah, it, it's, it's coming from this side again. It ends up being Benzinger, the right tackle, who's having a hard time on Dima KG. Just... I don't think they needed that. You know, they worked hard all week. Uh, they, pre they prepared the same way they do every week. Um, I don't think they needed that. I think they always ready to play. For you personally, over 1,000 yards receiving. You know, it's, it's been tough, and, and all the guys need to step up. You know, depth was already going to be an issue at the top of the season, intended for Hinton, but overthrown. And incomplete. Good quarterback pressure there by Kwanzaa, who's having a really fine first half. He really is. And the pass protection's been a bit of an issue, but I'm not sure Kendall Hinton picked up that football. Kind of adjusted to it awkwardly, and it was a bit overthrown, but I don't know, maybe it was a shot had he seen the ball earlier and tracked it better. Kwanzaa, by the way, already with seven tackles in this game. Here's Newman finding some room on that left side, and he'll pick up a first down, a tough run. Second down, six. Newman jumping inside, and he stopped. Gain of three going like this. They also do a really good job of taking care of the football. They almost never fumble, for example. That's a very tough catch on the sideline here by Stephen Claude. You know, I think Claude eventually catches, doesn't catch it the first time, but as he gets it there, 
I think that might be a catch. I think his toe hits the ground again when he catches it the second time. Doesn't catch it initially, but it secures it there. I think on that previous angle, it looked like there was a shot. There. So Wake picks up the first down and on the move, trailing 10 to 3. Rolling right to him and he'll throw and a bobble on that one and nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. But Jamie Newman, they just run a little move the pocket play and Kenneth Walker needs to catch that. It's right on him. And then Kobe Kwanzaa, who's dealt with two broken thumbs. He's more efficient in getting guys to the ground, just not maybe as efficient in trying to intercept the ball. Certainly not on that occasion. Here's the run, though. The quarterback, Newman, heading for the end zone. He scampers in for the touchdown from 40 himself. Well, basically, you're going to get power football. You're going to get a kick out block there. And what that is going to do is going to create a huge hole for Jamie Newman to run through. And you see Walker get to the second level. And then there's the stiff arm by Jamie Newman there. And then enough speed. And then great blocking on the perimeter by Waydell Jones. About 25, 30 yards down the field. That's a good job at the point of attack. You think about so much of what Wake Forest does offensively is that zone blocking scheme. Well, that's a power, you know, daring Wake Forest to, to try some of these receivers on the perimeter. Short toss, complete to Funthal, the tight end, and a first for Newman. Who will look to throw, has some time in the pocket. And throwing long, intended for him. He makes the catch on a back pedal. BD6. It's a great adjustment by him. You see the little switch release, the stutter inside on Blackwell, and then that leaves room for Jamie Newman to put the football up, and then a great job of going up and trying to get it as high as you can by Kendall Hilly, you know, a guy that moved from wide receiver, excuse me, quarterback to wide receiver, to play in the slot, great feel. And, and as Carney flares off to the left as a receiver, Newman straight up the gut. Boy, he is a very hard-nosed runner and tough to... All by himself, Newman will air it out, and that's going to be complete to Hinton. Looking for a block, and he has finally bottled Newman. Out of the shotgun. Looking to throw, and off the hands of his receiver, Hinton. KG from the right side on Benzinger once again, affecting his throw. I think Jamie Newman alters the way he's throwing that football, feeling the pressure of Dima KG because Hinton ends up winning on the route. If that ball is outside rather than Forcing him back inside there is probably a complete. Out working out of the shotgun. He's going to throw incomplete. Skipped it. Intended for Donovan Green. The talented freshman. But on offense, let's play every down. Let's not drop passes. Let's block people. I can't wait to see what's getting ready to happen with Duke football. Second and three after seven yard gain there by Jamie Newman. Try to pick up the first down. Takes a hit. And he'll land shy of that. Stopped by Shaka Hayward. Third down and one. Into the motion. Newman will keep it. First down for him as he bounces out. There are third and down situation like that. You've defended 40 runs. You're more competitive for Duke. He'll go airborne. He's going for a long strike. He's got Hinton. Hinton with the catch. Gets away from a tackler. He is into the end zone. An electrifying play, 62 yards. And is having without a good player at left tackle. And Wake certainly has that. Firing over the middle, incomplete. He wanted Hinton. Game was a fifth-year guy, and it was cool to see that even in the rain here at Wake Forest. Yeah, it was coming down pretty good at that time. Pass zipped to Frunthal, the tight end. Third down, three for Wake Forest. Newman looking to throw again. Time throws that one complete for a first down. Frunthal again. Contacting the defender. Here he is out here. He's going to kind of use his leverage and then snap inside, and then Newman does a good job of leading the ball, leading him away from testament to the offensive line. He'll keep it, he'll throw it, he has a man, but it's overthrown, intended for Claude. Gonna want back, that long mesh point gets the Duke defense to totally commit. And Steven Claude doesn't have anyone within seven yards of him, and Jamie Newman, who's been so accurate all season long, can't believe it, it just misses him there. So second down and 20. Carney in at the back. Roman will throw this one toward the sideline and broke it up. He wanted Hinton now. And Sage Serrato is out for the season with a shoulder injury. That pocket breaking down a bit. He has nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, and he is taken down. To pick up a nice, a nice game. Second and 13. 
Billman keeping. He has done that offensively yet. Third and nine. Under three minutes to go in the third. In the pocket to throw and a short one. And that's complete to Jones. Jones to the 30-yard line before he is pushed back by Michael Carter. It's a nice play call and a nice pickup. For a first down. No room there for Newman to the... Now trying to knock off the rival Duke Blue Devils. And the pass batted away. They got it. On the carry, Newman. Trying to gain straight ahead yards. He stopped by Leonard. Could really, really flip momentum. Newman on the pump fake. Trying to get free now. Now pitches it back here for Carney. And Carney straight hit carrying the football. Third down six. He fires it over the middle and a complete pass across the 40 yard line to Claude. Newman taking the snap. Thrown over the middle again. Hinton with a catch. And Hinton a first down. Jamie Newman, the junior quarterback, to keep this. Slicing through. He picks up a first. Looking for more than that. Still on his feet. On, well, yes, a determined run, to put it mildly. And he picks up 25 yards. It is a determined run. Look at him and his ability to break tackles here. I mean, those are linebackers, safeties, corners, trying to get Jamie Newman down, just running through contact. And how he got here, three-star recruit at Graham High, just 50 miles from Winston-Salem. 2015 Elite 11 camp, along with Jalen Hurts and Dwayne Haskins. And as a starter, He's trying to go to 10 and 4 in his career at Wake Forest. He was a really raw player coming out of high school. Can really wreak havoc too on the defense. Second down and nine. And it's Newman bouncing off a couple of tackles ahead of the five yard line. With this. Newman scampering to the left. And he will be stopped on that play by McSwain and for 191 so far this evening. He'll throw again. Nice catch by Hinton. Hinton breaks it. He's across the 40. Down to the 20-yard line. And out of bounds as he is shoved out. Game. Duke playing man coverage, and you basically have this little underneath route through traffic to get him free. And it's the throw by Jamie Newman right a foot out in front to allow Hinton to keep his speed up which allows for the big play. 58 yards. So looking for that two-point conversion, backed up after the delay of game. Newman for the end zone, throws and it's batted down, incomplete. Team has helped them. Second down, 11, and incomplete. Over the head, and 11. Newman with pressure on him, gets it away, he fires downfield, and a tremendous catch! Made by Basically, it's an offside. He jump up front. It's a free play, and you see Green just get up the field. You see the quickness on his release, and we talked about Green as a guy that this Wake Forest staff was really excited about, the physical skills. So first and ten in Duke territory. Newman with the carry, and stop. Green showing up in a big way. And off for, well, Newman will keep it. He's going to stay up. And stopped by Kobe Kwanzaa. But not a lot of room there. One yard gain. And trying to lunge away and injured on the play. We'll see how badly when we come back. It's not a game. It's a real